Parliamentary elections in Switzerland have seen a big rise in support for Green parties, with nearly all the votes counted. The results show a combined vote for Switzerland's two Green parties of around 20%, making the Greens a major player in Swiss politics. Uh, the right-wing Swiss People's Party, which has been the most successful in Switzerland for more than two decades, saw its hold on power weakened. Imogen Folks reports from Bern. Swiss voters need only look up to see the effects of climate change. Their glaciers are shrinking. When the ice melts, mud and rock slides threaten alpine villages. Today, voters took their worries to the ballot box. The Green Party increased its share of the vote to 13%, gaining an astonishing 17 seats, while its fellow Green Liberal Party gained nine. It's really incredible. I'm still trying to come to terms with what's happening right now. With all of these seats that we've already won, it's really incredible. And it's really moving to see how people are now hoping that the Greens are the ones who are going to make the difference now. The traditional parties all suffered. The right-wing Swiss People's Party lost 11 seats. And although it will remain the largest party in Parliament, these results are a serious blow. It's one successful anti-immigration, anti-Europe policies did not appear to resonate with voters. They were scarcely mentioned in the election campaign. As ever in Switzerland, no party will have a majority. The different groups will have to work together. But this new parliament is greener and younger and voters will expect a much greater focus on environmental policies. Imogen Folks, BBC News, Bern.